380 short, about 700,000 subs. Monthly income, 3,000 dollars. 780 short, 7 million subs. Income, 60,000 dollars. 730 short, 4 million subs. Income, 55 thousand dollars all these channels have one thing in common the dopamine editing strategy that means they do whatever it takes to get your brain engaged so you watch their edits all the way to the end exactly like these videos and today i'm here to show you how you can create these transitions, shake effect, and everything related to them. In the middle of this video, I'll show you how you can turn your videos from this to something like this, only using CapCut. So watch until the end. First, I wanna teach you this shake effect. Look guys, the first thing you need to do is add your clips. I always use the same clip so you can um, see what I'm doing. You just need to repeat what I do on your own videos. First, go to animation and choose swing bottom effect. Set the strange somewhere between 3 and 5. Do the same thing for the next clip. Now it's time to give the shake a better look. Just go to adjust and in the brightness section just follow what I do repeat it for the next clips too Now let's move on to the main shake. For this go to effect and from the nightclub category set select shake. In the object section set it to all videos. Create new keyframes the way I do and give it this graph and after that duplicate the layer once and transfer the effects so the next clip as well Let me bring this effect up so things stay clean. Ah, it's bugging out, bro. Never mind. <laughs> Let's just delete them and start fresh. All right, guys. Now that we are done here, go back to effects. This time we want to add a blur to make our shake look smoother and cleaner so choose oblique blur and apply it do the same keyframe adjustments i do When you're done, copy the effects four times and apply it to the next clip also. And there you go. That's our result. It's nowhere near After Effects. <laughs> but honestly, for CapCut, it's really good. Now, let's move on to the creating 
this effect, which I think is the coolest of them all. Same as always. All years, these same clips. So, first go to animation and add this animation to create a cool motion. Set the strange to 6 and then add it to the clip as well. Now head over to effects and add a shake so we can do the main part like this. Set it to all videos and copy my keyframes. Then give it this graph. Now duplicate the effect and apply it to the next clips too. Next, go to effects and from the glitch section, choose bad TV. Alright, so. From here, add keyframes the way I do, so it looks Then give it a graph. Now it's time to copy your effects six times. And that's the results, guys. Honestly, I think this one was the best one and most one of all so <laughs> before we move to on to the next video i need to keep my promise remember when i told you how to turn your video from this to this so all you have to do is click the link above i don't know here or here and check out the video i already made that way you can add some really cool color correction into your videos. All right, guys, the third thing I wanna show you is this shake effect. It has a faster vibe, which you can use for a lot of your edits. And first thing you gotta do is go to adjust and in the brightness section, just follow my steps. Do the same thing for the next clips. Now go to effects and as always add shake. In the settings, copy my keyframes and give it a gra graph like me. Duplicate the effect and apply it to the next clip. Now go back to effects and add a blur. Then in adjust at keyframes like I do and give it a graph. Now apply it to the next clips too. Go to a video and in animation 
use this animation. Then it looks smoother, copy it for the next part as well. And that's the result, honestly. In CapCut it doesn't get better than this. If you wanna learn how to make your YouTube videos go viral, you can watch the video that pops up on your screen.